Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, my name's Susan. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Um, here to give you a physical assessment and check in on you. Your surgery. Can I have you just verify your name and date of birth for me? My name is Terry Van Dyke. Uh, it's January 8th, 1941. Can I see your bracelet, Mr. Van Dyke? Okay. Thank you. Do you have any allergies? None that I know of. None that you know of. Awesome. And um, can you tell me where we are today? The hospital. And what are you here for? A uh, whole hip replacement. Awesome. And do you know what roughly what time of day it is? Morning. Morning. Okay. And can you tell me what your pain level is at? Uh, three. Three? Okay. And what hurts? Uh, my right hip. And can you describe the pain for me? More of a steady ache. More of a steady ache. Has it increased at all recently? It's been pretty steady. Just the same sort of since you've... You had the surgery, no changes? Okay. Um, would it be okay if I went ahead and gave you an assessment just to check on all of your body? Thank you very much. Let me look at your head. That looks pretty good. Feel your lymph nodes. That all looks good. Okay, can I have lights? Thank you. There you go. Ah, it's okay. I'm gonna have you look at me, Mr. Van Dyke. And just see, oh, perfect. Just look right at me. Okay, perfect. And can I get lights again, please? Thank you. And can I have you just look at the tip of my uh, light and follow it as it goes in? Awesome. And can I have you follow it with just your eyes? Great. You have great eyes. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Uh, how are your ears? Oh, are they watery? You okay? Oh. You need a tissue? I'm fine. Find you. Okay, you sure? Okay, I'm looking at your ear and up the nose. Oops, nose looks good. Are, there, are you having any nasal drainage? Any? Nope. Nothing? Can I open your mouth? Do you have any dentures? Do you have all your own teeth? Uh-huh. Do, okay. Do you have any pain in your throat or any of that? Thankfully not. That's great. Okay, I'm going to listen to your lungs if that's okay. I'm going to have you just breathe in and out. And I'll listen to your heart. Okay, I can have you just breathe in and out. Okay, and again. And once more. And once more. I'm going to listen to your apical pulse for one minute. Do -do 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 -do. It's been a minute. I can have you. I, now you know that um, I know Dr. Smart can talk to you about not bending so that you have a greater than 90 degree angle between your leg and your waist. So you know that nice 90 degree angle like a box, right? You don't want your leg to ever go greater than that. Definitely don't want to be crossing your legs. This pillow is here um, for when you get into bed, you can put that pillow here between your knees to make sure that your knees don't, your legs don't cross and you don't. So is it possible for you to sit up, not turn, get a greater than 90 degree angle between your leg and your hip so I can listen to your lungs from the backside? Can you do that? Do you get just a time, right there, perfect. I can, get, I can get my hand in, right there. You can breathe. Okay, and again. Down here. Okay, and I'm going to kind of squeeze in behind you right here. Okay, okay, and, and did Dr. Smart can talk to you about that? No, he didn't. Okay, well, because he put that new hip joint in on that right hip for you, we don't want, if you move your hip at a greater than 90 degree angle or you cross your legs and you, you change how that pressure is, there's a possibility that you can dislocate or kind of pop that joint out of socket. And we definitely don't want that to happen because that would mean that you'd have to go back into surgery and have it fixed. And we don't want that. So it's really, really important for you to not try to bend, right? You see how I'm now at a greater than 90 degree angle? Right here, you don't want to bend too far. You don't want to bend any further than, I would probably, you know, a little less than just to be sure. Um, and when you're sitting, you don't want to sit with your legs up. You don't want to sit with your legs crossed. So if at any time when I'm doing my physical assessment, you are uncomfortable, I just want you to let me know because we don't want you to risk your brand new hip joint, right? Okay, thank you. So your lungs look great. 
Do you have a cough at all? No. Okay. Okay, well great. Um, now that you're a little more comfortable and we've gotten you back in your hot bed, um, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your heart sounds before we move on. Would that be okay? Great, thank you. Okay, so an aortic up here. Oh, not just just your heart, sweetheart, but thank you. If I could um, just look at your abdomen, you can just move your hand a little. Okay, great. Are you having any discomfort? When was your last bowel movement? When was your last bowel movement? When did you um, poop last? Today. Okay, great. Um, and does it normal? And when did you last urinate? Today. Today. And was that um, like were those earlier in the morning, like just recently? Just recently. Okay. Let me listen to your stomach, if I could, please. Are you having any pain in your stomach at all? Any tenderness? No? Okay, that's perfect. And that's soft. And it's not tender any anywhere along here. Okay. Great. Can I see? Oh. Can I have you raise your hands? Out, up. Have you had any trouble with the range of motion in your arms? No? And we can't, of course, have you. We won't want to do that with your legs. Can I check your pulse? And can I see the other wrist? Nope. Can you turn it upside down for me? Thank you, sir. And if I could have you grip both of my hands. Great. And can I have you push on my hands and pull away from you? No, nope. with the back of your hands. Pull. Perfect. Can I see your finger? Just a finger just need to. Okay. That's okay. That's perfect. Anything else look good? Here's the pink. Oh, and here's the part. And then we're going to pretend that this bed is nice and equal. And I... You don't have any... Are you having any um, any problems with your legs? I know, of course, there's some range of motion limitations with your hip, but aside from that, are they feeling okay? Mm -hmm. No numbness or tingling or anything. Make sure you don't cross your legs. Okay. Um, can you push down? No, you probably pull up with this leg at least. So now let's let that go. And you don't have swelling. How 
does your IV site feel? Fine. Okay. That looks good. And um, I will be back to give you um, your medication at nine. Um, that will just be your antibiotic. Do you have any questions? This is your call light if you need to hit that and it will let me know that you need something. And can I have you go ahead and give me your pain on a scale of zero to 10? Three. A three still, okay. If you need any pain, you do have some hearing pain medications if you're feeling uncomfortable. If you want to get up, please, please, please let us know. We do not want you falling on that hip, okay? And if you need anything, um, here's your lovely tray table. We're gonna put it right here. So, all right, well, I will see you in an hour.